Hi, Dave here, and today we're going to be looking at the Feelgood Live Pro L1 Video Mixer. They're all the rage at the moment with Yolo Box and Blackmagic doing something similar, so let's take a look. Before we get started, I just want to give you a little disclaimer that Feel World did reach out to me to ask me to review this product. They're not paying me and also don't get to see the reviews. Everything you hear are my opinions. However, I do get to keep the unit afterwards and I'm quite pleased with that because as you'll find out, it's pretty good. So let's get unboxing. So here we have the Feel World Live Pro L1. You can see it's just got some information on the box and it says it streams to Facebook and YouTube and all that sort of stuff. And it does, but it should do a lot more than just those seven. And if we open it up, let's take a look inside. Here we have the unit itself. Just pull up the bottom here. And we've got a USB A to A cable. And then we've got the power adapter with the ends. Now it should come with about four different adapters. Uh, mine for some reason didn't. So I'm having to use a travel adapter because it didn't come with the UK plug. So I've had to put a European plug on and then convert it. But I did contact and confirm with Feel World that mine was just an anomaly. We just have the instruction manual there. So if we take a look at the unit itself, we have our HDMI ports on the back. We've got four in, one out, and the power, which is lockable. Then the LAN, USB, audio in and out using 3.5mm jacks. We've got some fan ports at the front and we've got a mounting port on the side. Let me take off the sticker. Ah, that's better. So let's dive into it. Now we have our HDMI ins, we have our USB A to A, we have a shotgun mic, which I'll get into in a bit, and we've got four cameras. Okay, there is this one here. Hello. There's this one, nice fade. There's the actual video, so you can see me recording at the moment. And you can see then my camera over there, which is massively blown out, but I just want to show you the four cameras. So we go back to this. First off, you can see the little screen, the two inch TFT screen, it's color. So there's me, overhead, decks, and computer. Now, first off, you can see there's not much going on, kind of grainy top, wood top, and the bottom is metal. Now, normally you would see a load of orange on my videos, but I've had to put it onto this metal top because the bottom for me has got so hot that it's actually bubbled underneath the plastic. So it's actually, it's actually bubbled this orange plastic, which you can't see. If I zoom out now, this thick orange top, it's there for, to protect the carpet when you're using an office chair with wheels, but it's bubbled it and I've never had that before. So first off, we've got two knobs, six buttons and this thing. This is a mixer. And do you know what? I don't mind the fade so much. I'm not used to it because I'm used to using the A10 Mini, but it is very, very flimsy. Um, and I'm worried that it might break. It's only plastic. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm just worried this is the sort of thing that you put in your bag and that snaps off. You can disable that, however, but at the moment I've had fun just moving it back and forward. So you can see all the four buttons. If I choose to select four, I fade to four and then one. Okay, so that's me there. We can also do hard cuts on these, which I'll show you in a bit. But if I go through the menu, it's really nice and simple to set up. Now be aware that it has to be plugged into the LAN in order to update. But because my route is downstairs, I can't do this video if I'm using both because I use everything on wireless. But I will show you how to use this uh, for live streaming and webcam stuff. Now, if we click menu, we can see input, and these are my inputs going in. And then we can go to HDMI. And the HDMI, this is really clever. So at the moment you can see my L1. But if I change that to preview, you can now see this. And this is what I also like. So the thing is I've got a CTEC quad um, 4K monitor anyway. So all the sources go into the monitor, then they go into the L1. So I got that function, but this is really cool because you can see all four at the bottom and then you can see my preset or my preview and then my program, which is live. So this is live my, here. Obviously, I've got me on my face, which I can say that if I fade over, look, they'll swap over. And at the bottom is all four of my uh, cameras, which I really like. And you can choose to have that a clean feed or that. 
So if I go back to HDMI, change it to program, and then we're back to program. Now with the USB, I'm gonna come back to that. Audio, so this has the latest firmware. I know originally they had some differences, but now on the latest firmware, I can now pick my audio, and I've got it from here, which I'll show you in a bit, which is my shotgun mic, and I can have that on, or I can choose input three, four, embedded, obviously like from the cameras, and external, but I'm gonna have it on input two. IP settings, that would be useful. You can just see your IP settings in there. Language, reset, info. At the moment, I've got 1.17, which is the latest firmware. Then I can just turn it back off. Now these are rubbery buttons, not bad feel. Um, this side over here, we have our mix mode, picture and picture effects. So if we go here, we can change our mix. So then I can do a slide, for instance. There you go, there's a wipe. And then you can do all sorts of other stuff, like let's do something fun. Whoosh. There's the old blinds. <laughs> Ooh, fancy. And then I can go down and we've got modes here, T-bar, fast. So I can then make it fast here. Okay, so that's now off. And now I can move these around. So that's up to you and this then does nothing. Then we have picture in picture. So if I move this on, I can then select that. And there I am, hello. And then if I move this over, you see now these buttons now make my picture in picture. Now this is one thing that I like over the A10 Mini and this isn't a comparison video, but using the A10 Mini for as long as I have since it first came out, you have to go into the software and change the picture in picture because it always defaults to camera one. Whereas this, I can just go, right, I want a picture of me, but with an overhead. So I can just select that, which I think is really quite nice. Now, ones that I'm not sh sure about is these ones. Because I might be big, but I'm not that big. They stretch them out. Now I'm hoping they're gonna be useful at some point, but they're not at the moment. If I do that, now I'm... that's how I'd like to look. Nice and thin. <laughs> And then we've got one in the middle, which would just be in the way. So we can do that. So those are the two buttons. So what I'll do now is if we go for picture in picture, because we might as well, and I'm going to go top left. Nothing ever happens in the top left hand corner. The annoying thing is you have to choose your picture in picture after your camera mode. So if I now go, I want to go to say three. And now I'm going to go to picture in picture. There we go. But I want to actually show that. That is a bit frustrating, but hopefully something will come out of that. So just to get the software and the firmware update, we just need to go to their website and click the links below, as you can see. So if I now go to Live Pro, now if this was on the network, you'd see my L1 there, but unfortunately there isn't. There's an L2, which I don't know if that's coming out, but this L1, it looks like this. Not exactly the same as the Black Magic, but it might improve. But you'll notice that this is actually how it should be, as in there will be no picture there. I'm not sure why, but it just won't be. If I had mine connected, it will actually see these light up as well. And you can move your T-bar and you can choose the set. But again, I haven't got anything there. Now, this is something that I want to be able to use. And maybe with Stream Deck and it's all being hooked up to the internet, then this might be really good because I can now drop down... So like for instance, picture in picture, I can turn that on separately to when I use my video. Because at the moment, if I now do my video, I'm going to just change the picture in picture. So that's no good. I actually want to keep that picture in picture there and then move over to something else. But I can't do that at the moment. We've got live streaming. Um, this I'm going to come on to in a minute. Then we've got our audio again. Obviously, mine's now selected as audio two. And then we've got other bits and pieces, test pattern, HDMI absent. Now this I like, and the fact that you can choose the bit rate. Um, personally, I would actually output it as 10 bits, um, which is obviously higher quality and gives you more scope in post. And you've got all the other bits and pieces. You've got a correction T-bar there, so a nice calibration something there. And you've got your input info. If I now wanted to do a zoom call, and I'll just show you in my video, I can now choose e-ever, USB device, 
And if I just stick the mirror on, take it off, then you'll see that's it. And that's what people can see. And if I switch if I switch to picture in picture, you'll see it's all live. And the latency is pretty good, actually, for this. If I now put this into USB and I can actually change the program to preview, it's there and I can show you what's going on. And this can be done the same as OBS as well. Now, I haven't used the software because, like I said, my network's downstairs. I'm not being able to do it, but there is a really good video which I'll leave the link for where this gentleman goes over loads of stuff and it's really very useful. So at the moment, you're hearing the mic going into Ableton, which is going into an interface, which is how I always record. But if we go now, I'm going to switch to a shotgun, which is just here, and it's going through the Live Pro L1. Now, to be fair, it's not a like for like because this is a dynamic. That's a shotgun condenser, and that's going to pick up a lot more sound than this. So give it kind of a bit of leniency. But if I now switch over, now you are going to hear a lot more noise because like I said, it's a shotgun mic, it's going to pick up stuff. My room's only treated to a bit, so you will hear the hissing. Um, and I've got computers and hard drives backing up and all that kind of stuff as well. We turn this, this volume, let's turn the volume down. Let's go all the way up to 100. One, two, 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 one, two, check, check. This is the microphone that you're hearing now. Let me turn that down a sec. This is the Shotgun Sennheiser MKE 600. It's a pretty decent shotgun mic. And I've got the volume at 70. And you can hear the difference between this and my mic here. I've got other mics I can test. If you want to see a full mic test of different condenser dynamics, uh, lapels, I've got the wireless go there, wired lapels and stuff like that, please leave a comment down below and I'll happily um, sort that out. Also, if you do want a comparable video with the A10 Mini, now, this is the L1. I've got the A10 Mini. I don't have the Pro or the ISO. This can actually do things that the um, A10 Mini cannot. However, it might be worth a comparison, um, especially as a lot of people at the moment are comparing the A10 Mini Pro with this, which isn't quite fair. So that was just a quick video on the Live Pro L1. I can do more with this. Um, I've showed you that I use cameras. Now, this is actually how I have my setup, where I talk to people on Zoom when I'm teaching live and when I do workshops and I have an overhead and I have a camera um, behind me when I'm doing my decks and then I have this so I can see like if I'm using record box or Serato or tractor pros I like the fact that I can see all four cameras on any monitor I've got like I said a monitor here which I use because I had the a10 mini and that kind of worked and if you do want to see a video on the 4k CTEK a10 156 still remember it you can click the card up above and i always have to do that when i say up above i don't know why i'm below and i do like the fact that i can push out the multiple view on usb for webcams and stuff i don't know why but i just i think that's pretty cool the screen on here for two inches no jokes that is really useful and if i haven't got my other monitor this is going to be great for live i could use this with my epifan streaming unit and it would be really handy because so i can see what's going on there and i can push it straight out and have a little monitor for my streamer it's also nice and compact the buttons feel nice and it and it works i'd say the things that um, need to be worked on the heating issue i'm not sure if it's just mine but like i said i've got it on here because it bubbled my top so if you would if you've seen this if you wouldn't mind leaving a comment below that'd be really useful the menu is a bit fiddly when with regards to the picture in picture you can change the picture in picture which is fantastic that's a pro but the con is you have to then take the picture in picture off to then change the main camera I might be doing something wrong and for those of you again if I've done something wrong because I haven't had this unit very long please do leave a comment below this if we are going to have one I just think it just needs to be metal it would be nice to not waste all this space we could have a bigger screen this could go over here because it's not very often you have a side one this could go over here and then this could be utilized a bit more there could be more functions in I'm sure the firmware is going to get even better the um, video swapping isn't too bad with latency at all. It's, in fact, I would use it easily and I'm gonna try it with a lesson tonight just to see how it gets on. And I know that there's potential here. Another good thing, it is very competitive with the A10 Mini because it is at the moment where I am, it's 339 pounds on Amazon. And for having a screen with it and potential uh, effects and things like that as well, I think that's really useful. I would like to see the menu a bit easier on the unit 
and I need to experiment more with microphones as well because I just want to make sure it's not just my shotgun. Like I said, please take that with a pinch of salt. I'm still learning this and if I find anything new, I'll update you on YouTube. So please do like, subscribe and comment and do whatever you need to do. I hope this has helped and obviously you've got the YOLO box, which isn't quite the same because it's a streaming unit as well and it's got a big screen and it's really cool, but that isn't really like for like. It's really the A10 Mini and the Live Pro L1. So please do have a look, see what you think. Let me know and stay safe and I'll see you next time.